So we skipped over a topic because we already talked a lot about it. And, and no surprise, big theme of the day. But I'm going to go back to it just to end the podcast because we obviously it's something we all care about, even if we care about it in varying degrees. Yeah. Metroid's back. Can, can we just back? Can, can we just like <laughs> reminisce in the fact that like yeah. it's truly back now? That this mm, isn't yeah. a dream. It's happening. Two Metroid games are coming out sometime in the next yep. however many years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like we know they exist now. No. It's not a pipe dream. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like mm-hmm. just. Yeah. I'm, my mind is still, even as much as I'm like Metroid Prime, you know, Metroid, I'm sorry, I'm Metroid Prime. The Metroid Samus Returns was like my least favorite game that uh-huh. was shown off by Nintendo. It's still one of those things, like, I'm still in shock yeah. that, like, we're getting that and a Metroid Prime 4 that's happening. It's not right. a Federation Force. It's not a Hunters. It's not, like, some side dish. We're, we're getting, like, legit mm-hmm. Metroid games. One for 3DS, even if it's a remake. And we're getting a, a whole brand new one in their most popular mm-hmm. series of Metroid mm-hmm. on Switch. Mm-hmm. Like, I was the person coming into E3 that kept saying they're not going to announce Metroid. Yep. Here's why, and I laid out a bunch of the reasons. Yep, and it basically tell. had to do with the fact that, well, it had to do with the fact that Metroid just hasn't been a popular yeah. series. It, it's just never been. Their most popular game is like a bad-selling Zelda game, <laughs> and when a bad-selling Zelda game happens, they just stop yeah, making yeah. that type of Zelda game. <laughs> so, like, Metroid is a franchise that's continued to exist and get new game after new game while other franchises that sold significantly better were just left out, left out the dot. F-Zero outsold Metroid oh. easily. F-Zero but they, they killed yeah. the franchise off. It's done. You only see it referenced in Smash Bros. or like a track in Mario Kart. You don't, you're not going to get hey, another and F-Zero Nintendo game. Land Listed on the Wii U of, name. That we're aware of. Yeah. <laughs> don't you dare forget. Don't forget hey, that. Nintendo Land was good. <laughs> Dude, Nintendo Land was good. I did that it was very I enjoyed it. The Zelda uh, one in particular I was a big fan of. Yeah, the Battle Quests. Yeah. But it, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, Battle Quest was great. The, F, the F-Zero, the Pikmin. Uh, the Mario oh, Chase. Okay. I enjoyed Mario Chase. Oh, it was a great so party game. Is it Joe, Chase, Chase Me? Chase Me? Yeah. I can't yep. change the name on us yep. since it was announced. Mar- Mario. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Not, yeah. It's a Nintendo for you. <laughs> yeah. um, no, it's... It, I'm, you know, I'm, it's a series that I always wondered if it just was continued because it's... Nintendo's primary franchise with a female mm-hmm. lead. Uh, and I hate saying that a female lead is why they continued it, but, I mean, they had no other franchise mm-hmm. with a female lead. In fact, I'm trying to think now, do they even have another I don't think that even enters into play for the, Nintendo, the, honestly. Series? I don't think they even care about that. Well, well, if they only care about money, then I, Metroid wouldn't even be here. I'm not it saying it's necessarily a money thing ago. either. I think that they, they do... I do so, think that so they, they know that their hardcore fans that have been with them since the NES days have been just clamoring for it. And even if it's not going to necessarily, you know, be the best selling games that they're willing to try it again, you know, like Kid Icarus was a, a cult classic forever. Why would they bring that back? It doesn't make any sense. Cause it, uh, it, it also, <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. They, it, it never, it never should have been killed total. off. That's what I'm saying. Two they have total. game. Like, like when you talk about, yeah, but like when you're talking about, you know, as an example, like this is just for the hardcore fans. I appreciate that stance, but like the hardcore oh. faithful didn't buy it. They bought all these other games. Yeah, that they no, canceled. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it's Kid only Icarus, for them, oh, but I'm saying Metroid, that they're doing they it like it. <laughs> it's because the hardcore is there that they're going to do it at all. It's not that they're only going to market it towards the hardcore Nintendo folks, because obviously that pool has been shrinking the last several years or so. Mm-hmm. Um, but. Yeah, That's the right. Switch will hopefully bring that back. Come on, baby, come on. It's got a great come start. Back. Breath of the Wild might be what's bringing that back. Yes, oh, my God. Definitely. I, I can't wait to see LTD sales of that. We should, we should be finding out uh, end of this month. I think in six days. It might even be happening during the week this podcast comes out. We, we should know some updated yeah. sales data on that game. I'm very interested. See if it's still outside yeah. the Switch. Yeah, see if it's outpacing the Switch. <laughs> yeah, that's still. so cool. <laughs> and the Switch version too. It's not. It might be. It might be because they don't have enough Switches out there. Yeah, right. So everyone's just buying Breath of the Wild. Exactly. Planning to get a Switch. They, yeah, I, I right. bought a Link Between Worlds before <laughs> right. I had a 3DS. In fairness. Really. So. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Respect. Hey. You just wanted to be yeah, that day one, like, right? When I get my uh, 3DS, whenever I ended up getting it. <laughs> just, just have to go to those midnight <laughs> releases. <laughs> Gotta enjoy that launch party. I don't think I'll go to any more midnight releases after the Switch, though, because 
Uh, by the end of it, I had to pee so badly, I think I almost oh, died. Dude, <laughs> you're doing it wrong. You gotta See, do the pre-order. I'm telling you, I breezed in at like 11.45 with my pre-order in hand. I was out in 15 minutes. It's like, alright, I'm going back to bed where that, I just came from. Alright, pre-ordering yeah. the Switch was so smooth. So we did it at GameStop. We we just breezed in. Yeah. We were like a half hour early. So like, we already have a pre-order, right? We don't have to wait in nope. line to buy nope. one. We already have it. We go in. They already checked us out. Mm-hmm. They put everything in bags. They had us just in standing against the wall until midnight truck and said, hey, check your bag. Is Make everything sure in there? Yep. Cool. You just have to stand here until midnight. Get the heck out of here. Go on screen. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, this, this is why I'm not. And this thing, I've never actually had this happen before. I, I was there day one for the Xbox One. And that's not how, at all how it was. Mm-hmm. You had to wait in line. But granted, it still wasn't like, you know, I could have showed up at midnight and not had to wait because I already had it pre-ordered. Mm-hmm. Like, that's the joy of pre-ordering. But, like, this is the smoothest I've yeah, ever I gotta seen say, it though, was. Yeah, I got to say, though, Nintendo, literally, really nice. everyone was checked out and out Nintendo of Nintendo has been midnight. putting GameStop mm-hmm. through its paces with Amiibo. I have been one of those Amiibo hunters. I have been there at the early days... So it's not just Ooh. GameStop, Best Buy, yes. Toys R Us. Oh, absolutely. I was at the well. Target launches and all sorts of stuff, and they've been oh awful, God. and they have been getting better and better and better. So it, they're, they're well, training retailers. Until Breath of the Wild Amiibo came out, and if you didn't get a day one, you can't get it lost Nate again. Yep. No, that's not true. You can get the what, what the bulk of one. one. Yeah. You can actually get that at retail price on Amazon. Yep. They never yeah. sold yeah. out of them. But all the ones right. that people actually want. Right. <laughs> Generic enemy didn't no. sell well. Really? Huh, that's weird. <laughs> the only wow. amiibo that Generic I can find enemy. But the Guardian are Animal Crossing can't make more of those. I just don't care about them. And it's really upsetting for me. I can find only Animal Crossing oh. anywhere. Yeah. So since we're, since we're getting so off topic, because we talked so much about Metroid, <laughs> clearly we, we don't really have much more to say right now. I, I could say a little, but we can move um, on. One thing I wanted to bring up... <laughs> No, yeah, yeah. Uh, the actual last topic for today, um, I was just looking at the time, and I'm like, you know what? Based on where we're at, there actually is still time to get this last topic in. Um, so we ba- we know what we're getting, essentially, for, for Switch in 2017. They released a graph. We've seen the lineup. Looks, I, I, th- I think, mostly solid yeah. for a year one lineup. Um, but we got to talk 2018. Yeah. We're going to go around the room one last time. I'll even go first this time, since I've been going last the whole time. And we're going to give uh, what our uh, let, let's cut it off at five games that would be part of our ideal lineup for Switch. Oh boy! And 3DS in 2018. Hmm. So my ideal lineup, yeah, my ideal lineup for I'll, I'll start with the Switch because this one will be easier for me. Uh, my ideal lineup is that Yoshi comes out. Early spring, like February, maybe even maybe even right before spring, it's kind of their momentum keeper. Uh, they follow that up because we're only going with five games. I'm hoping there's a game every month. Um, they follow that up a few months later, you know, maybe right right around June. That's when they have Smash come out, right. which isn't even announced yet. So they have a Smash Bros. come out. Sense. That's like their their party, their 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 fighting game. You know, that's their Splatoon two and Arms situation this year. So they have Smash come out around then. That that's kind of like that's gonna drive drive some some big sales. Uh, they follow that up because this is my my ideal lineup. I have to throw it out there. They, they somehow some way follow it up with the Pokemon RPG mm. in August on Switch. I don't think it's gonna happen. But this is again this is my yeah on Switch. This is my ideal lineup. So this is what I think would drive yeah. hype the most um, for the Switch. They then follow that up with, uh, I, I hate, you know, the, this is the, like, when I said the Smash before, I was talking about a brand new Smash, oh. not a port. I, I didn't clarify that. So a brand wow. new so Smash that is okay. optimism. Um, <laughs> Ambitious list. How, how long has it been how since Smash been since they stopped out? working on it? Those Amiibo aren't even out yet. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with, do with making a new Smash game. They could put the C team uh, oh, they um, they could. Will they? That Smash DLC. I don't know. We'll find out in 2018, apparently. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. Well, the thing is, I, I'm also of the belief that Sakurai is never making another Smash yeah, game exactly. again. So it doesn't I matter. I agree with that. Um, I, I, I think Sakurai only was doing it, because he's expressed several times so he doesn't want to do it anymore. 
And I think he was only doing it because of his relationship with Iwata. And Iwata's not around, sadly. And he, so. like, kills himself every time, and he's only getting older. I mean, yeah. it's not worth it. Yeah, so, yeah, so I, it's going to be, I think, a, a new story. Or if it is the same company, it's, he's not going to be involved. Um, anyways, that's my ideal lineup so far. So what is that? Mm-hmm. Three games, right? I had Yoshi. Um, I'm not even going to mention Kirby. Kirby's going to come out somewhere in there, too. But I'm excited for that Kirby, by the way. I, that one's awesome. come out probably the same time. I, oh, I'm excited for the Kirby game, but but this is just my ideal okay. five-game lineup. So I have the Yoshi early. I got mm-hmm. Smash kind of in the middle. I've got uh, Pokemon kind of in, what three quarters What if it was Pokemon in. Snap? Uh, I need <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> well, but well, whatever. This is this is I'm my. I'm just saying, was, would, would that right satisfy list. your Pokemon requirement, or does that not count for you? No, a Pokemon RPG. That's, okay. that's strictly May, what, okay, I, what I want the ideal lineup to be. Um, it's not going to happen because there's no way in heck they release in the same year. But Metroid Prime Four would be great, though. Coming out uh, not as their big holiday title, but as a tweener, being that October mm-hmm. release, like. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Like Mario Odyssey is now, even though Mario Odyssey totally could right. be the end of the year game. Um, I, I think, yeah. I mean, they, they could pull off like a this year where they release Pokemon in October and then try to let Prime 4 be like the holiday game to push sales. But um, they lost Prime 4 there. So that's four games. <sighs> Man, this is, where, this, is where, this is where things get really heated because this isn't going to happen. And it, this is my, like, you guys might think I'm crazy so far. My most pipe dreamiest of pipe dream. A brand new Zelda game hits Unbelievable. Not this holiday, the optimism of this guy. <laughs> because, no, because, no, no, here's my, here's my, here's my theory behind all this. This DLC, this, this DLC that, that's being made, it's already done. They've been done with this DLC. Um, what, what they worked on during that entire delay of waiting between the Wii U and the Switch with, with Breath of the Wild is the DLC. That's my theory. So if they just worked on the DLC that whole time and they haven't been doing it, that means I'm expecting them to Majora's Mask this bad boy two years later, the second Zelda game, based on the same engine. Uh, that would be Wild. cool, though. I would say. I would really um, enjoy yeah. that. Because they, they've done it before. I, I don't think it's going to happen, but this is my ideal lineup. Like If they get Pokemon, Metroid, Zelda, Yoshi, and Smash out in the same year, that's going to yeah. top year one. Yeah. That's... <laughs> that'll, Ooh, I think, blow your yeah. water. Well, no, because Mario... You don't know how big Mario Odyssey is going to be. True. Splatoon 2 is huge oh, yeah. in Japan. Yes. Oh, right. Huge. And they have Mo- Monster Hunter Double Cross coming to Switch yes. in Japan as well. That's going to be huge. Um, so, we, we can't underestimate that Japan can actually drive huge numbers mm-hmm. since it's a portable. Right? It's, it drove huge numbers for 3DS. So, uh, again, but I think if there's going to be anything that can compete with this really big year one we have, that could almost do it. Mm-hmm. And, yes, I know it involves Zelda again, but... I, I firmly believe Nintendo has the ability to two year this bad boy and get a Switch exclusive Zelda game out. Um, we'll see. And that's what I'm hoping because last time they did that, it was awesome. They haven't done it since. So I'm, ho- I'm hoping that they're like, yeah, we didn't build this engine for a one time use. I would love to see a, a twist on um, Breath of the Wild that was as awesome a twist as Majora's Mask was on Ocarina of Time. Oh, absolutely. Oh, exactly. So exactly. Cool. So for 3DS, for 3DS. It's pretty simple because I have to talk about games that would make me want to play my 3DS in 2018. Because I've it's repeatedly tough. said I don't want to play my 3DS, I don't want to play my 3DS, I don't want to play my 3DS. And it's tough because look at the lineup I just said for Switch. Yep. When am I going to have time? <laughs> right. But five games that can make me play my 3DS next year. My ideal my ideal 3DS games. I would come back. I, I want a new oh, Advance Wars. Yes, Warden's please. Brain. Oh, great call. <laughs> Oh. I want that game so bad. I mean, I'd love to see it on Switch, but but if they're going to properly support 3DS like they claim, yeah. I want to see that happen in spring. Um, I, I know I just ragged on remakes earlier, so people are going to really <laughs> blow me up. But um, I actually would like to see them... I don't know if it can be done, but I would like to see Mario Sunshine get remade. On 3DS? For 3DS. Oh. I don't know if they can do it. Wow. Yes, on 3DS. I, it's going to be rough, but I think the new 3DS can handle it. I think it might end up being like a new 3DS exclusive, like they did with Xenoblade. Okay. Um, Because they've already done this before. They did it with Xenoblade. If they could do it with Xenoblade from the Wii, they could do it with Super Mario. Yes, Sunshine. they could. They could. Um, now that, as soon as I remember, wait, they've already yep, done this. They, they can. can do it, obviously. Will they do it? I don't know. But that's what, I think because that would be like, like kind of a nice, like, 
you're coming down from Odyssey and like here we're releasing like this underappreciated, really awesome 3D Mario game because people are up up in that 3D hype, you know, on 3DS, and that obviously could set up a potential future. Hey, we're also going to port it and make it HD in the future. Um, but we're going to start it on 3DS because that has the bigger install base, and Damn. we need to push 3DS sales. Um, that's because so, we're so still we have doing that. that. And then we follow up with with about an August release of. Uh-oh. Uh, people are going to hate me. Oh, on 3DS. Yeah. On 3DS? They put it on 3DS instead of Switch. Mm-mm. On 3DS, yeah. That's why I said people are going to hate me. Then. Because they're going to want it on Switch. And it, they, they put it... It's probably coming to Switch, by the way. Just, just so people know, Pikmin 4 is coming yeah. to Switch. Okay? It just is. But in my world, I don't think Pikmin sells enough. And a 3DS could use a game like a Pikmin 4. Um, and there's actually a surprise... I'll throw this at the end for Switch. I have a surprise game for 2019. They'll announce it. 2019. But all right, so those, so those are, I got those three games. One of them I'm gonna get really hated for. I just know. Might even get hated for Mario, but whatever. The thing is, you're gonna hate me, but you guys all know you're gonna buy it. <laughs> I I buy I buy pretty much anything so, Nintendo makes. It's never let yeah. me down to the point where I'm um, like, all right, Nintendo, let's take a break. By the end of the year, we're getting a new. Uh, I think around October or so. A new okay. Ace Attorney. Love Ace Attorney. Would love to see another one. And my, my, my pipe dream game for the holidays. Mm. We just talked about it before, how it's an abandoned series. You totally. bring back <laughs> cool. Yes. They're not confident enough in it for Switch, but they'll bring it back on 3DS with a new game, not a remake, to test the grounds. Even though you could argue a certain indie game on Switch oh, is already it's a great proven game. there's an audience. But but uh <laughs> they bring back F Zero is a big holiday game. And I know people it's not a big it's a big deal. It's a big deal because if that sells mm-hmm. well, it could eventually come to Switch. Yeah. Uh and then my surprise announcement, we'll just throw out a, a we could all throw in one surprise announcement from E3 for twenty nineteen, Animal Crossing Switch. Okay. Huh? <laughs> but that will be a twenty nineteen. That's mine. <laughs> yeah. I, I, Eric is like, I don't know what to say. I can't follow that. I got, I got, <laughs> just give me as many games as you can. Okay, Switch 2018. Yes. Man, that's it. I don't, <laughs> Man. I don't okay. care. Okay. I don't care about anything else. 3DS. I, I know you guys laugh. Like, we love Madden. 3DS, the, yep. I would actually play it F-Zero if they brought it to an f Oh, oh I, so I picked one game. That, that is there one game that, as long as they bring back the Death Wheel, the oh, Death boy. Spinner, okay. because they got rid of that in the second one, and yeah, it was yeah. just all of a sudden you died and you're like, oh, this is boring. <laughs> <laughs> but before, if you could sit there and spin the, spin the, almost like the, uh, casino slot machine, slot machine thing, yeah. and, and you could blow other people up. That was fun. That was fun. That was fun. <laughs> so as long as they bring that back, I would actually probably play my 3DS again. You know what game, oh, and what, I can't, I already said, I'm, I'm done with my list, I can't keep up bringing up games. Yep. Because that just reminded me of another game that I want to come back that would be perfect for 3DS, but. So I'll, I'll wait and see if anyone else brings it up before I do. Let's go over to Mr. Right. Daniel. Uh, Switch 2018 Dream Lineup. What do you got for me? Um, I would say, okay, yeah. Only five titles. Um, I would say Skyward Sword HD. Because we could be talking all day if it's Skyward unlimited. Skyward Sword HD oh, comes out. <laughs> you got your motion controls built into your Joy-Cons. Boom. Perfect. And it works better yep. than the Wii Motion Plus. Perfect, okay. You got Smash. <laughs> I would say, you know, yes, Smash does. 5 is not going to happen next year. So I'd be totally satisfied with the Smash 4 Deluxe, um, with all the DLC, and then maybe they throw in a couple mm-hmm. of new characters and stages. Bring ice climbers, ice yes. climbers, eight player Smash, yes. <laughs> all ice climbers, <laughs> free for all. <laughs> Final oh, ice climbers, too far. all ice climbers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my Turn of it to the death. All right, so we got, so we got a port and a remake. Yep. What else um, we got? And then. They bring, okay. I actually had a, a list and then I totally lost track of where my brain was. Uh you have to mind me. I've been up since three in the morning. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, jeez, wow. Yeah, it's late. It's late for him. Um, All right, what, what do you got? You got three more, three more. Okay, so then Yoshi that. comes out. That's gonna be great. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, Star Fox. No, we get another Star Fox game. I'd love to see that. 
I really enjoyed Star Fox Zero, but it kind of left me wanting more. Nice. Um, and then I want Pikmin 4 on the Switch. I don't want it on the 3DS. You're wrong, Nate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pikmin 4. Pikmin 4. Yeah, Pikmin 4 on that's the Switch. my okay. five Switch okay. games. 3DS. How about 3DS? I think I'd like another yep. smaller scale Zelda game along the same scope of a Link Between Worlds or Triforce Heroes. Like a, yeah, like that kind of scope worlds. of Zelda game. Yep. Um, okay. <clears throat> another sure. Mario game along the lines of 3D Land even but a little with the, like more more to do okay along the lines of um the 3d world brought and then they could bring tropical freeze to the 3ds as <laughs> okay. well like they did with Donkey country <laughs> returns and nice. i'd be all over that okay um another fire emblem game because i really love fire emblem and I, we haven't talked about it all day um yeah, i know they just come up with echoes those. but if they can do fates and then echoes <laughs> Uh, they can do another one. It, 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 plus, we know that there is supposedly a yeah, Fire well, Emblem game coming to Switch, Switch in 2018, but, too. Like, yes, they announced yeah. it. We don't know anything so, about it yet. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind seeing one on 3DS in Daniel's dream world. Not the um, Warriors because one I think that is coming to a, 3DS. Man, Awakening, Fates, and a third generation. Yeah. Yeah. Even if they insane. do another remake, if they did one Shadow system. Dragon again or something... Or um, or if they did Sacred Stones oh, sure, again, sure, or just sure. poured it over some, just something just, more. Just, I just love more, more Fire Emblem. Yeah, exactly. just, just more, just more. A port of Fire Emblem Heroes for the phone. <laughs> no, <laughs> I played 15 minutes of that game and I was like, done. well, you said I something. I really didn't care for it at all. Uh, yeah, and then that's okay. I would love, and I, this sounds like no. far fetched. Um, it's not Federation Force. Well, that's okay, but it is. It's the story of Federation Force from Samus's perspective. <laughs> so all of these events that happen, and Samus is sort of like she shows up in the background, do over and passes through. <clears throat> yeah, so like I the game that, everyone wanted. I want, it, I want it to nice. go as like I want it to have both. <laughs> I don't want to give up Federation Force because I was never one of those people that was like super angry at the announcement of Federation Force and like because I love all the like yeah, universe yeah, expanding yep. ideas. Um, but I would like to see yep. Samus's side of that story too. Like that would be a really cool like even if it's just a smaller okay. like short game or something. Sure. Oh, am I sure. Four? Five J. What do you got? That was five. What do you? No, that was that was. That was a, I don't know. Wait, I'm done. Five? Anyways, that's all I can think of. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> close enough. Pretty sure that was five. Right. We'll go with it. Five. I, I don't have. Five J. What do you got? To find like these are for Switch and these are for 3DS. He's dead. Five J. I was he not. Died. Am I not here? Uh oh. He went to. He might have died. Uh oh. He might have said something on no, Discord no, and no, I can't see. check Discord. I'm on, folks. Hang on. Yeah. Is he still in the chat? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. You hear me, oh, guys? He, you oh, hear me? Yeah. oh, there we go. <laughs> he's back. Oh, he he's just like, sorry. He, I had to go ahead and go to the bathroom quick while it was going on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, excellent. Yeah, well, I was going to say, uh, gotcha. uh, I don't have a well, defined what do you got, games for Switch or 3DS, and I don't have 10 games here because I was not prepared for this question. But I do have some definite ideas. I, I wasn't either, some... <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> you're good at it. You're very good at it. So I came up with someone while we were talking. For one, I would love to see a Mario 64 remake. Right? Ooh. Right? Ooh. So so you're talking I'm about right Sunshine. I want to see the original I mean, remade. Because the one on DS was cool, but it was it DS. was it didn't have analog yeah. controls, which kind of stinks. You didn't have the fine-tuned way to, to move around. The graphics mm-hmm. were simultaneously I mean, better and on worse on, on DS. Like, the models were better, but the textures yeah. were even worse. It was yeah. so weird. Uh, so I would yeah, love to yeah. see them do it right. It's more like a port. Yeah, yeah, it was like basically a port. a port, and they added new characters that didn't change things all that much, really. But it was fun, and I want to see them yeah, do that in high game. def. It'd be yeah. awesome. Uh, it was just cool because it's like uh, Mario 64. Exa- exactly, exactly, and it could be a virtual console, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but still, I would love to see a, a remake okay. there. Okay, all right. Um, I, all right. I, I, w- I was... Huh? Switch or 3DS? Uh, I want everything on Switch, Switch honestly. I'm done with the 3DS, too, but... Okay, done with 3ds. So your ideal lineup in nah, 3ds? I, I know is they dead. can't do that. I know yep. they can't do that. So I, I don't know what to say. So yeah, I'm just throwing out uh, games, and like where they want to put it is fine. Whatever, I'll play them. Um, sure, sure. I was also gonna say a Star Fox. <laughs> they kind of <laughs> have to really try though, because they failed big with Zero. They were trying to shoehorn in those controls, and so many people were turned off by that, even if the game was halfway decent. And it feels like they haven't really advanced the series ever. I mean, even no. Star Fox 64 well, was a remake of the Miyamoto, original. Did, didn't Miyamoto say 
Didn't Miyamoto say the only reason they even made the Star Fox is because of those controls? Because they were going to make yeah, it. Yeah, and that's, that's the thing. New. That stinks. Uh, that they can't come up with new ideas. No one. The thing is, no one. No one wanted yeah. that, right? No one want. Like we don't want. Well, you, you just make the same Mario games all the time. Why can't yeah, we just the, get that? Usually, Star the new Fox? Mario games have some sort of new <laughs> hook, and it's like they can't think of a new hook to add. Well, yeah. New, new Super Mario Brothers, New Super Mario Brothers U, New Super Mario Brothers the little, the little tiny hooks here and there, <laughs> you're right. They're not me. massive, but for some reason, every new, new thing they add to Star Fox is just <laughs> reviled. Like, oh, that wasn't good. We don't do that again. You know, they can't find a new way to improve Dinosaurs, it. Dinosaurs, anyway. that wasn't good at all. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so I, I'd love to see them oh, get God. one right. And I don't know that it will ever happen, especially not next year. Okay. Anyway. Uh, get a Star Fox F-Zero, right. F-Zero, I think that okay. they should do it. I think it makes sense. I think that it would go into arcades well in, in Japan. Um, I, th- I think it'd be a great idea. Um, I know that it doesn't sell amazingly well, but I think that's a, a matter of of finding a way to appeal to the folks that didn't appeal to before. It could be a marketing thing, you know? I, I think they could pull it off. And it's sure. been a long enough time now that they, they've yep. probably built up a little bit of a cult following. And I and I think that helps. And Metroid, I think, is Ooh, it's yeah. it's going to help there as well, too. Um, yeah. Sure. I want to see uh, a top-down Zelda, which is kind of along the lines of uh, what, what has already been said there. You know, the smaller Zelda. But um, yeah. what would almost be cool, though, is if they went back to the Zelda 2 style and gave us a, a semi-Zelda RPG. Oh. Right? Right? That would yes. be really cool. So, yes! Oh, yeah. um, I love Zelda 2. Yes. So hard, but it's <laughs> so good. I'm just kidding. <laughs> going home. Uh, not, not a Nintendo property, but I would love for it to be Nintendo exclusive. I want them to bring back Mega Man and put it on the home where he belongs. Okay. Yeah. I mean, sure. he's had so many great sure. games on Nintendo systems. Believe you. And uh, they've reinvented Mega Man successfully so many times. Uh, probably the, the, the latest ones that was really great, uh, Mega Man Zero on Game Boy Advance. Really great games there. It was, it was a lot of fun, and I'd love to see them do something new again, or even classic. I don't care. Bring it back. Put it on Nintendo. Well, they they kind of did classic with uh. They did nine Mega and Man they nine. did ten, but those were both yep. in the Wii era. That was a while ago already. Yep. So mm-hmm. it's. Well, that I mean that was more soon. <laughs> than that, the game that's true. That's true. But but this was reinventing. <laughs> they reinvented it with Mega Man Zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that that yeah, was just yeah. uh. Totally. Revisiting. So uh, I'd love to see them do more Mega Man. Maybe give us a classic style and a reinvented style. But if they're going to do classic, I want them to do Mega Man X in 2D again. No more of that 7, 8, and Command Mission 3D garbage. Give me a 2D X. Well, and Mega Man makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. Right. Smash. So Absolutely. So it's kind of a good time to be like, hey, we put yep. it in Smash, so yep. why don't we just bring it back? And I guess I didn't put this out there yet, but it just yeah. occurred to me now, a similar deal. They got a brand new show coming out. Let's see what they're going to do with Castlevania. Oh. Right? Because they, they had a bunch yeah. of exclusive okay. Castlevania games on Nintendo consoles that were RPG, they like did. the Symphony they of the did. Night style. The Metroidvania styles were pretty much mostly on Nintendo systems. And they had, the, of course, the first and or the best one on PlayStation. But still, the other ones were very, very good. Uh, I'd <laughs> love to see a new style of that sure, on a Nintendo sure. system. But, you know, that's Konami, so... They're gonna burn that to the ground. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and uh, economy. Right. Yeah. yeah exactly. Castlevania Pachinko. Yeah, yes, that's gonna on happen. On your Switch. <laughs> <laughs> Play Pachinko on your Switch. That's yeah. gonna happen right there. Bring Konami it with Pachinko. you wherever you go. <laughs> with yeah. Virtual currency yeah. that you buy with real currency that you cannot turn back exactly. into real currency. Uh, and then right. two. I think these are my last two that I think of. I'm thinking of right now, but. They're related. Sure, sure. Very, very deeply. Sure. And uh, the community is desperately asking for these. I want to see an Earthbound collection where all three games are there, oh. including three, which they have not brought to America yet. Yeah. Okay? Amazing, yeah. right? Good call. Then Good let's call. see Earthbound 3 slash yeah. Mother 4. I want them both. I'm getting greedy. I don't want one or the other. I want to see. I want it all, you know? Give it to me. And so, put it in 3D? Sure, why not? That's what they were going to do yeah. in 64. I want it. I want it so bad if it wasn't for the fact that the creator yeah, said Yeah, but they don't need the creator it. per se. And it's then people would have to you know realize that it's going to be a different feel. And they might be disappointed by that. But I don't think that it's impossible yeah, to make a good about. Earthbound game without so him. Long. It maybe won't be as good, yeah. but it doesn't mean it can't be a fun no. game that we all enjoy. 
Sure. Exactly. Sure. Hey, yeah. you're a dream yeah. list fan. That's that's cool. I I do, I do want to throw an honorable mention out there, and I'm going to keep doing it until this game gets made. I mentioned it a couple times in the past year. I want them to bring back in some way, some form, a proper mm. tennis RPG. Dude, the Mario sports game. RPGs were yeah. so good. The, dude, yeah. I don't you know, know, you know why what? they went away from that. It yeah. sold well, and the the games they make now for the Mario like the Mario sports games do not. So why don't you just go back to the actually, RPG Mario tennis that stuff, stuff is like, still oh, RPG so like. That's the thing about it. That's what upsets me because their games are actually good. Uh, and what really actually did look really good to me was Mario Sports Champions, but on the 3DS. No interest. I would love to see all those <laughs> games together on the Switch uh, in an RPG style sports games again, where you're leveling up your stats. And speaking of sports games, so so none of, none of us want to see Wii Sports. You, you cut out on me there. I didn't catch, catch yeah. what you said. No one wants Wii to see sports. Wii Sports. Nah. No Mario what if Sports. They did a all the Mario way. Sports Resort. Like you know, they had the Wii Sports Resort, mm. and they had like all of these. Mario yes. Mario so you get all these Resort. Mario Sports games, but I just thought of another one. Huge game. Oh, I just thought I did too, actually. Oh, hold on, Eric. I, I know that five days said but Eric hardly right. had any games. He said he thought of another. What do, what do you got? I, I, I want to either bring a updated or brand new. Oh, bubble bubble. cool! Just blast I the past. freaking loved cool bubble, bu- bubble 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 back in the day. That is wow. Okay, did you say you had another one? Or okay, no, that was that, that was, was the one. It? I'm surprised you didn't just say a new. Uh, Balloon pop. Oh, oh balloon that's fight? another cool uh, choice. Fight, yeah. And yeah, you, could uh, yeah. you could definitely, yeah, you could definitely then so. also oh, yeah. be paying homage to uh, Iwata that way as well to say, hey, this was a great idea. Especially yes. what was it Balloon Kids on Game Boy? That was a really mm-hmm. cool one. Yep. Oh, yep. Well, what's the, the other game what's that the occurred to me that I'm game. always a big fan of, but I don't think is a particularly big seller: Pilot Wings. I want oh. a sweet Pilot Wings oh. flight simulation game on Switch where you get ridiculous flying machines like the weird. <laughs> and you're going to start talking about that. I'm going to start saying I want thing, I want things like Skies of Arcadia Ooh. 2 to happen and come out on Switch. Like, oh. uh, Sid Meier's Pirates. Oh, we're getting lots of Pirates oh. games already on various other oh systems. Gosh. Lots of Pirates. Yeah. That's yeah, but we don't That's have really it on Switch. Do. We need our own Absolutely. Pirates mm-hmm. game. Yep. Nintendo needs to buy back. Uh, Rare, oh, yeah. get Sea of Thieves over here. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Sea of Thieves actually looks really good. Really good. Almost looks like Rare might have some talent left. They in hired this. new talent. Oh, make a make a <laughs> non crappy <laughs> remake of uh, Conquers. <laughs> oh my no, jeez. Yeah. The, uh, my ultimate pipe dream is that there's a new Conquers Bad Fur Day exclusive One that's on not Switch. Crappy. <laughs> but that'll never happen. Maybe crossplay <laughs> on the yeah. platform version. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That ends up sucking because I've had this crossplay. I mean, this multiplayer. The multiplayer, probably multiplayer the second exclusive. one was terrible. <laughs> oh, what? I did like peeing on people. Was, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I don't know why it just totally fit with Conquer. Yeah, oh, no, um, Conquer is messed up. Mm-hmm. That's Conquer's so pocket tail. Only in the first one. I don't, I don't remember. The, I don't think that was in the second. I, one. It all blends together yeah. to me. I don't think that was in the remake. I, I, I don't the, care. The Xbox remake. I'm yeah. talking about a new they, Conquer, anyways. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. Forget the old Conquer. <laughs> wow, he can't. The old Conquer. Awesome. Did he <laughs> yeah. die of alcoholism? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> no, he, he didn't. He didn't die. Um. Anyways, <laughs> that's gonna do it for this. This extra long but very good. Uh, this is a great podcast to come back on. Uh, for the longest time, it's just me and Eric. I actually plan from here on out to have at least one, if not two people, in addition to me and Eric, every single week. Might be Daniel and 5J. Might be um, a certain current... Yeah, I'll just say a certain current editor-in-chief of Zelda Informer has oh. recently been talking to me about oh. trying to become a regular. Mm-hmm. Um, and, yeah... He actually wants to do a lot more Nintendo Prime in general, so we'll, we'll see. You might, you guys might see him around a lot more often. Who knows? Um, but yeah, and I'm hoping that every now and then I could bring in some special, some special guests. Uh, in the past, we've had Mason on. Uh, you know, I, I've been talking to mm-hmm. people like HMK um, and some other YouTubers because this podcast mm-hmm. exists on YouTube. So like bringing other people from the YouTube community yeah. in just makes a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean. They're, they're still Eric and I, right? We're the life of the party. I'm the one everyone wants to shut up when Eric talks. And Eric's apparently the hot one, according to our comments. Yeah, so. yeah. That, I think that's the first time that's ever been said. Well, I'm taken, so it's yeah, okay. They, yeah. they can fawn over you. It's yeah. cool. 
It's cool. I mean, do you see this? I, I actually <laughs> don't see yeah. it. I don't see that. You'll see it. You'll see it when we go on the podcast. Yeah. 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 I literally, for the first time in my life, rubbed his chin. All right, then. I kind of liked it. Wow. All right. So, I want to thank everyone for for joining us here on the Tender Prime Podcast, both our guests slash people who <laughs> actually work at Nintendo Prime. Uh, with 5J Gaming, uh, give a shout-out to his Twitch channel. Go follow it. Oh, it is thanks, amazing. Um, I watch his streams during you the do? week very often. Do just things, because, man. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I mean, I, I, it's one of those things where I started doing it because I felt like I owe you. Like, you're doing this stuff for free. Free weekend live streams. I mean, I got to show some support. Um, I, I probably could do a better job than just watching it myself. I could probably share the streams, to be honest. I'm actually not doing as good of a job as I want. I feel so the I same way. I feel like I can give you more but as, I'm as, ever, as I'm, as well. I'm, ever, I'm advertising now. Like, like go watch him. He does excellent streams. Uh, usually a lot of retro games, but he does some newer stuff too. It's it's fun yeah. stuff. I, I really enjoy right now his streams. I'm... Go check him out, Daniel. I don't know Duh. what Daniel's been doing for the past months. Uh... <laughs> he hasn't been making videos for us. I haven't seen any at his YouTube channel. <laughs> I wondered for a while if he was even alive. Until today, when I'm like, hey, does anyone want to be on the podcast? He's like, oh, yeah, what time? I'll be there. I'm like, where the hell have you been? Uh, Wait, you're exist well, still? Actually, what, what I've been doing is I've been also helping um, Game Over Jesse uh, with, he, he's been asking me to help edit All some right. of his videos for him. So um, I've been helping him out a lot. And then I've also been nice. sleeping a lot. He's been begging me. He's, he's been like, Nate, will you please... Come on one of my videos. He's a good guy. Come on your video. And I'm yeah, like, yeah, he's someday. great. He is a good guy. I bet on some. Like the last time I did a video with him was uh, he did a live mm-hmm. stream before Breath of the Wild came out um, with a live Q and A session, and um, I came on as someone who had mm-hmm. who had played a bunch of it at E3, um, and it was a really it was a lot of fun. Uh, I would like to do. Let's say he's another YouTuber. He also kind of sort of works at, at Zelda Informer. Yeah. Um, I. I need to, as I said, I need to start getting more involved with the, the community. The problem is, like, because Nintendo Prime, and I said this when I was hiring people uh, this past mm-hmm. week for the news team, like, I do 98% of the content, which means as long as I'm doing 98% of, like, all the news posts and social media and all the videos, the last thing that I think of to do is, oh, I should email yeah. some YouTubers right. and do, mm-hmm. like, and do, like, something. Like, someone told me, like, oh, I should talk to uh, Shizzy, the guy who does Boundary Break stuff, and... Because you know, he likes he likes working with other YouTubers and he's got you know a pretty big following, and someone said like yeah he'll probably end up working with you. I'm like that sounds like an excellent opportunity. I have <laughs> no time to remember to ever contact him to make uh, make this let alone come up with an idea besides hey would you come join the podcast to even get him around. So it's like mm-hmm. I want to do all this stuff. I, I I need I need like a correspondence yep. person to set it up for me. Yeah. Daniel, <laughs> hey, maybe I'm already in cahoots with, with Jesse, so I mean, uh oh, yeah, and and in Macintyre, yeah, no, yeah, like I said, I as well, and he's like, hey, I hear you like to edit yes. videos. Or, I've known Jesse he McIntyre. Says, hey, I hear you it? like to uh, edit videos. I want a real toasty oh, his one. Voice. Dude, his, <laughs> his voice. voice is like butter. Okay. It's great. His <laughs> voice, <laughs> Matt. Yeah, yeah, McIntyre. Uh, was it? I, I know McIntyre pretty good. At HMK. Uh, I I know Mason. Who, if you're listening, Mason, I might be hitting you up soon to uh, maybe get me in contact with C and D so I can get him on a podcast. Um, just because I really, I, really, I you know I didn't follow C and D much before uh, he did the one month wait for Switch, but I gotta say he's a pretty entertaining dude. I, I'd like to get his thought. Like he was at E three too, so like I want to get a an E three podcast with other people who have played games there um so yeah i don't know like i need to do more with more people but i hope you guys out there in the nintendo prime universe on youtube twitch the facebook twitter at the website nintendoprime.net hope you enjoy the content we do have and enjoy this week's stuff uh daniel i mean i guess yeah. you just gave a shout out to <laughs> over jesse he's a cool guy um i gotta start responding to him because he, 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 he literally like messages me every week yeah. hey do you have time hey can you do wow. this hey can i come on your podcast it's like the answer is always yes <laughs> 
Well, the problem is yeah. I don't know what to do after I say yes because I don't know when I'm gonna have well, time to remember. Go to watch do his it. videos, guys. Um, I edited some of them. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nice. Nice. That explains. Oh, that explains. Oh, 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 really? All right. <laughs> Has it, have people said that? Oh, oh, oh. No, actually, oh, you're you. you're a really good video editor. You really are. Like, like that's the one thing I will say. Since you stopped making so many videos on my channel. The quality oh, has been no. consistently crap. <laughs> I watch your videos. I like them. <laughs> my, you, you like my my long ten minute oh, yeah. rants? Just, with you know, still I put images? it on. I start cooking. You know what? <laughs> he's this not looking at it, but I he's was... hearing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so it's like a podcast yeah, for you of sure. um, the Nate rants. <laughs> yeah. All there right. You go. Um. So just, so just to wrap it all up, you could obviously follow me over on uh, Twitter at Nate Jance or Nintendo Prime at Ninty Prime or on Facebook, you know, Nintendo Prime. I've said this many times before, Nintendo Prime everywhere. You can support us on Patreon if you want. That'll ensure if we hit the hundred dollar, like our first our first goal on there is to hit a hundred bucks. That will guarantee, come hell or high water, I will have a podcast every week. There won't be like a two week absence like we just had, um, and we've had this two week absence in the past. Uh, we hit that mark no matter what I have to do. I don't care if I have pneumonia. I'll make Eric run a solo show if I have to. There will be a podcast. Um, but that's only if we hit that mark. And now you guys know that apparently we only have one working mic. So we really, yeah. really, Ooh. really can use some support right about now to get the new mic. Um, or two new mics, ideally, because God knows. This this is the third, third of this mic, and the two other died oh. within six months. So this one's Yikes. probably on its last legs, too. Um, that's what happens when you buy cheap stuff. Yeah. It sounds good, but man, it well, does not last at all. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Eric <laughs> never has anywhere to follow. Just Nintendo Prime, like his shirt says. He's got NintendoPrime.net on there. Yeah. Go check that out. Uh, where can uh, they follow you? Guys you guys can 5J? check me out uh, on Twitch, twitch.tv slash 5J. You can check me out on YouTube, youtube.com slash 5J Gaming. I also have a Facebook page and a Twitter. Just look for 5J on anything and you'll find me. Nobody else has that name. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, and you'll probably see him a bit more often because I, I promise at some point in the next two weeks, I'm not going to say tomorrow, in the next two weeks, I will get some social media shares hey, and some of your streams. Nice. Right, so I, I feel like, I feel like you know, I, I need to share the love. You share the love with me, I got to start giving some love back because I don't do anything <laughs> to help you out. Your, your uh, fan base has access <laughs> so to my logo. I really I mean, appreciate that's helping out. <laughs> oh, that's getting right, that branding that's right. out there, that sweet, sweet branding. And Dan, do you want yeah. them to follow you anywhere, or are you uh, you just going to continue to be a ghost and say go to Game Over Jesse? <laughs> uh, no, you can. <laughs> uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Capt Bergerson. Caps short for Captain, because that's me. Uh, I also have my own yeah. YouTube channel called NSHG Films, um, where I make. Well, I actually haven't posted anything on that channel in a long time either. So <laughs> if that makes you feel any better. <laughs> Um, but you should still, you should still subscribe <laughs> because it's, uh, qu quality over quantity. That's <laughs> yeah. why you never know when it's going to happen. Uh, yeah. You never know when it's going to happen. Um, just like I never know yeah. when another <laughs> video is coming to my channel. He's not going to let that die, man. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no you, know, you know what though? Like I keep bringing up, it's because of how good your videos are. <laughs> It's not just that, like, oh, my God, your Dragon Break video got, like, what, 80, 95,000 nice. views. Like, I don't care about that. Like, your Metroid, your, your, there's a reason that your Metroid video is, like, the featured video on the channel for, like, all new subscribers. Because your content Whoa. is amazing. And I hold the, your videos up as, like, a pinnacle that one day I can reach. I don't want to be the same, but Thanks. I, I want to get there. Cool. Um, so like that's why like I'm razzing you. I know oh, it's yeah. all in good fun, but like in all seriousness, dude, I I, I miss like you. Your videos are I keep a step I keep above meaning I, I I'm like halfway through um, an Earthbound video, so. and then my capture card broke. I did finish oh, oh, recording, and then I died a little inside. Oh, I know. And like, <laughs> you know, I'm so, actually doing an Earthbound oh, playthrough right I, now. Just throwing that out there. God, no, and now our family, our famous is gonna be like, oh my god, there's an Earthbound video like in the works. It's a hiatus. <laughs> I'll, I'll release it when they release another it's Earthbound. Like yeah. It's coming. <laughs> yeah, that's great. He, he's the new Nintendo. Earthbound, <laughs> it's coming exactly. someday. <laughs> when they release Mother Three, we you we know you want Mother Three. Earthbound video. Four. We know you want Four. Mother Three. 
That's great, Reggie. That's great that you know we want Mother 3. That's not what we want to hear. We, we know we want Mother 3. Well, give us an answer. Give us some legit teasers making me cry with nothing, with pain, sadness. And apparently yeah. 5J wants Mother yeah. 4. So we'll, we'll just... You know what? We, right. want, we right. want our cake <laughs> and we right. want to eat it too, as they say. But I thought so, the cake was a lie. The cake... Uh, that, That's whatever. True. That wasn't on Nintendo, so... <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, folks, we will probably all gather. This this group of four will probably be together sometime in the future. I hope you like this week's podcast, and we'll catch you next week.